the quick appearance of giant black holes in galaxies in the early universe is at odds with the gradual way matter builds up in most galaxies. They likely had their beginnings in the first generations of stars that literally burst onto the cosmic scene in a time of incredible turbulence. These stars were born in knots that developed in the diffuse gas of the early universe. Gravity drew these knots together. In the most dense regions, the stars were born in waves. Many of them gave birth to black holes. Within a relatively short time, by cosmic standards, the earliest black holes swallowed more and more matter, growing to monumental proportions, becoming quasars. These quasars, in turn, were fed by the collapse of matter on a much larger scale. This computer simulation recreates a region in the early universe that measured over a hundred million light years on a side. It shows what took place in the first one billion years of cosmic history. This virtual universe is set in motion by equations describing the properties of gas, the energy released in star birth, and the outward motion of space and time. The result, an intricate cosmic web, with gravity drawing matter into filaments and knots, as if you were looking down through a vast tangle of interconnected spider webs. Inside the most dense regions is where the largest galaxies and black holes grew. Here, circles indicate the appearance of black holes deep in the data. As they bulk up by eating up their surroundings, the circles grow larger. A few, in the largest galaxies, reach ultra-massive proportions, billions of times the mass of our Sun. This is the scene in one of those dense intersections. Thousands of galaxies and gigantic clouds of gas spiral inward. A large galaxy emerges in the center, and at its center, a giant black hole, force-fed by gravity, 